Hey, how's it going everyone? Mick Ambrose from All About Tech. Welcome back to another video. Just before I get into today's video, I just want to let everybody know that there is just six days left of the um, of the OnePlus 6T giveaway. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to the video of the unboxing and how to enter. Just six days left. Get yourself in there for a chance to win a, 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 a OnePlus 6T. Six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage. The latest and greatest in in, in what OnePlus have to, have to offer. And I've actually bought one for myself because it was Black Friday and I got a really good deal. I'm enjoying the phone that much. I'm actually recording this video on a one, on, on the OnePlus 6T. So today's video, um, I'm going to try and keep it as short as possible just because I'm at work. Um, as you can tell around me, the weather... Uh, is absolutely terrible um, and I just want to make a quick video uh, whilst I'm whilst I'm on my break um, just to talk about ETN talk about a fantastic um, article that's just uh, th that's just been posted by ETN director uh, Chris Gorman um, and it really does highlight about the crypto marketplace and how we about how things are so early and 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 how things compare massively to the um to the massive internet boom and the uh, and the and the big and the big dot com bubble that happened um and he uses amazon as as a uh, as a example and how jeff bezos didn't get involved in in all of the politics that were happening with that and just got on with 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 the clear aims that he had um so just to talk about the the obviously the dot com bubble the internet boom um obviously back um it's probably like two decades ago now um massive massive uh incentives to buy internet stocks um loads of lo loads of different tech companies were emerging etc and every every everybody was getting into these tech stocks and then there was and 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 then there was there was a massive crash um, people were saying that these companies wouldn't amount to anything. Um, and if you look at some of these companies, um, back way back when when the massive crash happened, you had companies like Microsoft, Amazon, Apple that were um, their stocks were like hugely down. But even though these these stocks were like hugely down, there's you look at if you if, if if we fast forward to the present day, some of these companies are absolute powerhouses. If you look at Microsoft, Microsoft is absolutely massive. Windows Windows based operated system computers equate to the vast majority of of personal of personal computers of PCs on 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 the planet. You know, um, their products software services are are used extensively absolutely extensively apple being another example ev so many people were um were hating on apple back back way back when um saying that they'll never amount to anything and they were the first company they were the first trillion dollar company you know um absolute madness or, or at least the the first um, trillion dollar tech company. At least I don't know about globally, but the first trillion dollar tech company. It was a huge. It was a huge milestone to overcome. And whilst I don't agree with with everything that Apple does and 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 some of the things that they do with their products, etc. You can't you can't deny that they've had a clear vision from the start. They stuck to that vision, um, and. And and they really took things to the next level. I mean, they they were like the first the first ones to really make smartphones a thing. You know, when the first when the, when the iPhone first released. And then you look at Amazon. You look at Amazon and how they started off. They started off. They were they were really small. Um, Chris Gorman uh, writes about it in his latest article. How Jeff Bezos. He, that the important questions that he was asking rather than what everybody else was asking at the time was not what you can change in the next what what is going to change in the next 10 years but what isn't going to change what isn't going to change in the next 10 years that you can build something upon 
And then you know that you have that stability there to grow something. And that's exactly what, what Amazon did. Obviously, they started out with just books, with just their, um, with just their books. But Jeff Bezos had a, he, he, had, he had a clear idea that he wanted, he wanted a vast um, selection of products at good prices, easy for the, for the consumer to, to use, um, like their website, and, and fast delivery. And um, it's 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 a recipe for success. And then you look at Amazon as a company now; they are absolutely massive. I mean, considering if you look at just Amazon.com, the shopping part, that that's massive in itself, and that is that's what the vast majority of people um, associate Amazon with. But then you look at the other services they have; they've got the um, the, the, their, their platform for vendors to to sell on Amazon. It's not just like Amazon fulfilled. You get you you can you can buy and sell on Amazon if you want to. Um, you have the Amazon AWS. All their like their their computing their cloud services for people server um, uh, services for people and for businesses, and that in itself is absolutely massive. And then you look at what Amazon are doing again. They're, um, they're not, they've just announced that they're doing like two blockchain based, um, services, but they're not looking at reinventing the blockchain. They're using its current technology to make it useful for present day services, present day, um, use cases. That's, that, that's, that's the whole point of it. You know, that's the whole point. And that's where Electronium really, really compares with 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 the likes of Amazon and things like that, because they're not asking, they're not asking the questions what things are going to be like in ten years. They're 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 looking at how things are now and how the current state of blockchain can help, because it is still disruptive technology. It still helps massively, and if we look at ETN, people people say, oh, what are they doing different? What are they doing um, that's so special? And it's not a case of looking at the blockchain because the blockchain that that that's been solved. Electronium are using technologies that have that have already been developed, and then they're using their own ways to make it useful for millions upon millions of people. And a point that Chris Gorman really highlights really well is that all of these all of these um these these companies that they 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 target that one that one percent that. They all they all they care about is the technological advances, whereas the, the the most important part is the end user. You have to build something for the end user, not to not not just for the sake of creating disruptive technologies. Blockchain's already a disruptive technology. Let's put it to 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 current use cases and to make it useful now. And in this 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 article that is absolutely fantastic. It really shows that Chris Gorman knows what he is doing in terms of building a viable business. He talks about how he had a company called Reality that he then went off and sold for for fifty million dollars. He's he 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 knows the game. He knows the game. He's been in the industry for for he's been in the mobile industry for thirty years, and he's seen how blockchain can be useful now for consumers now, and that is extremely extremely important. So the question we need to start asking ourselves is actually not what the one percent are doing to make all these technological advances. We have something ready. How can it be useful now? What's not going to change in the next 10 years, which you can build something stable and something that can that can really strive to succeed. And that's something that ETN are doing. That's something that they're doing now. They've got real life services. They've got real life products coming to works now with instant pay and things like that. It's it's so exciting to be a part of a, a crypto um, slash fintech company. Because the com- like the community for Electronium is, it's it's completely different because you've seen that they're they're not targeting the technological advances. What they're targeting is how we're all going to interact with the service. How are we going to interact with with the ecosystem? 
and they're really targeting that easy that easy use case and that itself is so disruptive and that itself is the question that all companies should be asking putting putting the end user first what is it they want so what i'll do is i'll put the link in the description for the article um it is it is a fantastic read and it shows some great some great positive um some really positive things that we can take that we can take back about what um about what we can do um to to make the use case viable now rather than what it's going to be like in 10 years or so so if you like this video guys give it a like subscribe to all about tech remember you've got six days left to enter the one plus giveaway i'm going to be uh, making another video tomorrow um, I just thought I'd make this one while I'm on break at work, etc. So, like this video, comment down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.